That's nature time, ladies and gentlemen. A new segment to cover climate change, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria that's happening right now in the universe. So um, and crabs that'll cut you, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, crab. You're fucked up, crab. So, so hey, but this, 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 hey, we're not affiliated with any gang, any blue or red. So when we say crab, we're not talking gang shit. We're talking <laughs> about the crab that'll fucking cut you. All right. <laughs> So uh, we've been reporting this on this for since like for a while. This is about the wildfires and the fact that you know they're they're pretty much they're running out of um like wildfire fighting slaves and they call on the they're trying to call the firefighters who actually do the wildland firefighting like kind of like 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 janitors of the forest. I don't know what they're like trying to like demote these people for the work they're actually doing. And um, comes back to dash and bash. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it's also nature time. We're gonna talk about nature first. We're gonna talk about all the stuff that's burning everywhere. Um, this is crazy. We warned you that they didn't hire enough people. Now everything is just running the monk. I'm gonna play this clip real quick. As you see, um, a whole bunch of states. It's not just California right now. So I'm gonna play this in the world shit. Fires are burning in seven western states now. The two largest in Oregon and California have forced many people out of their homes. CBS News correspondent Lily Luciano has more from California. Searing heat along with windy dry conditions fuel the I think he used Monday all the S curl. <laughs> and race towards homes. This fire is picking up very fast. The They're like one and walking out. next to it. <laughs> from jumping over i just came out of the fire ladies and gentlemen people living here to take quick action to save their lives and their livestock the like, rancher justin weavers is helping move cattle miles out of harm's way we're dealing with the third back-to-back -back heat wave what has that been like deadly it's freaking hot especially when you're working outside that's a nearly Less legendary view miles north this video captured firefighters running for cover as the beckworth complex fire just north you know shit is fucked up when firefighters are running for cover you know <laughs> no one come to save you at that point yo they're giving you their professional opinion when they're running the strong winds continue to whip up the flames a big concern for bob Schoenstein. That fire could be on the other side of that mountain and it could put embers down in the Damn, middle of this town and burn this town to the ground. The fires are erupting as rapidly. He looks like he's already had a, a rough life. Midwest. You don't need any more. You look like he walked out of many fires in the past, yo. Unless we as a society make drastic changes, this is better than it's never gonna get cooler. It's hard to take that reality in, but that's the truth. Just to give you an idea of how ripe conditions are in California right now. Can you right pause the video right quick? Fires. Pause that. Take last year. Yo, everything's burning. Like, they can't report anywhere that doesn't have a fire. Well, well, I, so when, can you can you go back to the part where the guy was saying it's not going to get any cooler? I, I really want people. No, no, not that far back. Not, um, Right there. Right? Right there. Right? Re, and then, and and then pause right after society make drastic changes, this is better than it's never going to get cooler as yeah so that. so here's so here's the thing the next frame shows the fires moving and burning someone's you know maga truck and their house down okay. <laughs> all right i'm sorry all pickup trucks from henceforth are maga trucks like okay. a rock getting burned up <laughs> okay like charcoal now, for this man to stand up there and say it's not going to get cooler and we need to do something different like i it, it's it reminds me of the thing with the rona right when you have all of these people going to their deathbed saying the rona is not killing me <laughs> into the grave i go <laughs> um, <laughs> you know i i you you got people looking at these wildfires and as running from the wildfire they're not just looking at it dr eugene they're running from it like 
Yeah, but but they're turning around to look. They're not like they're, they're, they're not like the the action movie stars that are really cool and don't turn around when shit blows up, right? <laughs> they're turning around and they're looking at this shit, and it's like, are you really gonna let these corporations tell you that climate change is not real? Are you really turn oh, around oh, and oh, look at the, look at not what not used to be your straws. house? The, another thing is like, it's your fault for not using plastic straws. It's your fault for using plastic bags. It's not like giant fossil fuel companies that knew about global warming like fucking 40 years ago. It's not their fault. It's not their fault at all. It's my fault for using the plastic straw yesterday. So, um, I mean, remember that, that plastic straw that ended up in the, the nose of that turtle? Yeah. And had the that was my straw. Out? I did that. I went up to the turtle and was like, fuck you that. You jammed thing. it up there? I, I, <laughs> yo, I knew where you were going with that because I kind of laid it up there and you slammed it down. I mean, I know you're only like 5'8", but you still slam that shit down like Nate Robinson. Uh, Nate Robinson. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, like you, you're seeing all of this evidence right in your face and you're still going to fix your face to tell me that climate change is not real. Yo, like I mean, the, Death Valley hit 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Like it's so hot that humans cannot exist in that heat. Um, humans cannot even live even in me. That heat. I love the heat. I'm not going there. No, humans cannot even live or die. We die in that heat. Um, and then also thing that people don't talk about that nights are getting hotter too. That's night's supposed to be the time when your body's supposed to like have a moment to cool down. The fact that you have no yeah, moment to cool down. Else. Huh? I was thinking about something else. Yeah, but it's gonna be so cool. You don't even want to sleep next to that's what you know it's hot. You don't even want to fucking lay next to somebody. Like, fuck that. I'd rather lay underneath the bed. It's cooler. (laughs) That's a hot monster underneath my bed, but (laughs) the temperature's lower. (laughs) (laughs) And like, yo, speaking of monsters, yo, yo, we fucking like the, the wildfires are so massive that they create their own apocalyptic like nightmare weather. Um, I, I got to share this clip. This is unbelievable. I don't know if people know about this for nature time. Like, like this is, it creates its own pyrocarmelinus cloud. It creates its own apocalyptic storm. Um, you can't make this shit up. When you uh, say that, it sounds it, like adventure time. And now I wish we had that font, adventure time. Raging yeah. <laughs> Australia, obviously expect to generate some pyrocumulus clouds. You might be asking yourself, what exactly are those? Well, our severe weather. Well, dinos. When those kill me. behind. Pyrocumulus clouds. That is the end of the world scenario. Clouds. We call those pyrocumulus clouds. Cumulus clouds are those puffy cotton ball like clouds. That they're cute. On Yay. Days. When they're created by wildfires, we call them pyro for fire. Pyro. They, <laughs> they become not power. cute. The fire itself gives off a lot of hot and moist air. Water vapor is a byproduct of the fire, and that can help trigger the fire. Clouds are rising. The clouds really become air. a psychopathic arsonist because of climate change. When that happens, additional dangers can occur because thunderstorms, of course, have lightning. Sometimes we get dry lightning that will come down away from the rain. That then could create new fires. And even if the rain does come down, it can create a downdraft of cool air it. that then spreads away from the thunderstorm and could cause the wildfire to spread, sometimes out of control. In either case, the lightning, the thunderstorms, those spreading wildfires from the changing winds, those are things that certainly pose a hazard to firefighters. So we do not like pyrocumulus clouds. Then well, we do create the pyrocumulus clouds. Yeah, we have a whole factory for those. I love this pyrocumulus clouds. It's destroying I mean, the planet. I mean, like we're creating a new type of cloud. <laughs> But climate change climate, ain't real. It's not real. I don't believe in it. I mean, so I got struck by lightning by like a fucking pyromaniac cloud in the sky. Um, I mean, so. you literally have spiritual children that's playing with fire in the sky. That's some like Greek mythology, like, you know, like yeah. Zeus striking or down. In the, the cartoons. S- in the cartoons when the, the, the evil character is trying to cook up some evil plan to like be eviler and then <laughs> you know like yeah you create something called pyro cumulus clouds like that sounds like some shit that you know you would see dexter have to try to fight against from his laboratory <laughs> <laughs> yeah it looks like some like kid show villain you know like like the power yeah, like girls gotta fight <laughs> would fucking create that shit. man dark <laughs> 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 I mean, this is absurd that this is what happened here. And I wanted to circle back to 
to uh, the pro one of the problems um, because of climate change, because we're not we're not dealing with what causes climate change, and we're not also not dealing with how to like stop nightmarish forest fires. I just want to go back to this. Um, Biden expands pay hiring firefighters, but union warns is not enough. Uh, it's still not enough. But uh, Biden announced um, last month um, while we were off the air, going in the wilderness of the internet. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty much, he announced fifteen dollars an hour for five fires, which is still not enough. I, I wouldn't go out there for fifteen dollars an hour. Only you can prevent forest fires. Only you can go out there with no health benefits. So, uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine putting your life on the line for fifteen dollars an hour? And we're not just talking about putting your life on the line. We're talking about putting first, second, and third degree burns on the line. So wait, for, so I want to give I'm going to give a broader range of the salaries, dollars. like like entry level wildland firefighters come into the government as like these different you know acronyms and stuff like that. And the union said of their members in the force, the force service, those salaries range from twenty five thousand to forty thousand in two thousand twenty one per um, hour. Uh, per, per hour is twelve dollars an hour to, to almost twenty dollars an hour. Look at that face he made. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Like, like the first thing I thought is a dude in an alley sucking a dick talking about twenty dollars is twenty dollars. That's the first thing I thought, and it's like <laughs> it, it, a grown ass man f for twelve dollars fighting a wildfire or sucking the dick for twenty dollars. Like, what are you gonna choose? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the first thing I think of. Yo, I'm sorry. Say like, I'm sorry yo. It says that like um, it's difficult to rise up the ranks because of the whole temporary status, your half-ass work status. Like they, they promise you they're gonna get higher wages. That burn but it takes... ain't temporary. When you lose all the skin on your forearm, that shit ain't temporary. So hopefully you make it to 10 years without you know being burnt up or being burnt out because all your friends are being burnt up. So um <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so like that's the thing i want to i really want to go down to like <laughs> i really want to go down what what they like what the union is actually like is like asking for <laughs> like <clears throat> many of the firefighters have witnessed their colleagues injured welcome back to black power back to power. i know it's been a month <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. I mean, this is like, face. yo, this yo. is laughable. Like, <laughs> but it's like, if you don't laugh, you'll burn. I know exactly. It's, it's like crazy. Like that. seething like, hot with anger. I know because like just watching the news lately, seeing like the, the report we just played, like a whole bunch of like states on fire. But like, then we just report that you guys don't want to pay these people to put it out. No money. Like, like it's frustrating to see it. It's like, I don't know what it feels. I, I don't know. It feels like. Your neighbor like keeps complaining about like you know people keep breaking to my house, but I'm not gonna put any locks in the door. Like, what do you expect's gonna happen next? Like, I mean, know, they like... paid Denzel Washington and Man on Fire, <laughs> and you can't pay these men to put the fire out. Like, the fuck. So, Come and on, the thing man. is, like, what got missed about the whole money thing that what they people don't realize like how like universal health care is so like you, a program that really accessible. They need. Really, they they're begging for like treatment for trauma, for PTSD, for depression, for substance abuse, for comprehensive suicide prevention and crisis support. Um, these firefighters they they encourage the administration. They're asking for the Biden administration to strengthen and develop new mental health and employee assistance programs for federal firefighters. Um, so so they they want more than fifteen dollars an hour. They want a living a living wage like a and and benefits that support them going out there doing the crazy shit. They're like, yo, we yeah. don't have to pay them a living wage. They may not even be living at the end of this. What the fuck? We got to pay them a living wage. That's what they say. You're going to get a raise in 10 years. And, and again, and again, and again, I'm sorry, because everything links back to the same old shit with Dash and Bash. You want to keep saying the fight for 15 is blah, blah, blah. You have firefighters making less than that. The, you know, because you know, you have, you know, how you have your American flag with your red ribbon across the middle. Yeah, that's supposed to be for firefighters. I thought you respected those guys. Yeah. So, if you, I mean, if you are so super duper magified, then you should be out there fucking protesting 
along with the with the with the socialists you should be out there protesting with them to make sure that they're getting paid a living wage since you know you pay all this lip service and you talk about how much you back the blue and you love the firefighters and all this stuff right well what about these firefighters you care about them yeah i mean i mean hopefully people wake up because right now instead of like trying to figure out um building the world together we're running from a world being burnt up by py pyro cumulus clouds um so thank you very much for that so uh, that's uh that's that's nature time our first segment we're gonna have more animals and and fires and floods and like cats beating people up so um so it's black Paw magic hour on twitter facebook twitch we go live on there once a week i think hopefully we can figure it out and dr eugene sees live uh on twitch discord youtube and that's it's nature time <laughs>